Dave, and we just got back from her soccer game where she scored two goals and she plays on the Navy team. It's a color, but coincidentally enough, we're going to be re reviewing a aquatic game. And this is a, a game from Blue Orange Games. I know I've said game like three times there, but this is called Doodle Quest. And in Doodle Quest, you are using your spatial awareness to draw on these transparencies and trying to accomplish the goals that are stated on the cards here. So without further ado, let's show you how to play. Let's, let's dive in. Under the water, under the sea, lots and lots of fishies swimming by me. Under okay. the water. Now let's go over what you get in the box. I know it looks busy, but these are nice quality components. First, let's go over the rules. Very simple. You're going to be playing this game by reading the cards and the rules are really going to be displayed in front of you so this is just one page and minimalistic so that is the first component then you get four of each these boards that you're going to be putting the transparencies on top so you have a solid base to draw on then you're going to have these fist easels they're going to get drawn on but it's not going to mess with the flow of the game uh, the erasers so you can erase the dry erase markers now these in any game are going to get left um, with the lid off and they're going to dry out and they're just going to run out so you're going to have to buy more of these so these are what they are go out and buy a few but everything else will last the next four uh, things that you'll get are the transparencies themselves uh, they uh, have doodle quest here so you can line them up on the boards you can see how they line up here and that's going to help you keep your line straight so you know exactly where you're going to be drawing so you get four of those and that is what each player will get then you also have this transparency that is going to keep the score so it goes up to six players oh it goes up to six quests with four players so that is that and then you get the 16 double sided pictures on which you're going to use for examples to draw on your transparency so you're going to have 36 pictures and you're only going to use six every game so there's a lot of variety in that uh, i do want to point out that the insert eh, it's not the like greatest component holding insert but they do have doodle quest on it so that's neat okay now let's show you how to play the game okay so this is set up for two players uh, you'll hand one of each of these items to each player and uh, the, as i said before the doodle uh, quests emblem doesn't really line up with the board here but it does show how the transparency has to sit on the board and if you just line it up flush you're good to go so you'll start by randomly picking a picture or having people take turns picking a picture and then doing what the card says in this case we're going to be using our fist stencil and uh, this is take a bite of the worm without getting caught by the hook use the fish stencil to draw three fish around the worms heads without touching the hook so you have to draw one fish for each one of the worms here so uh, we're going to do that and then cut to how the results play out let's do that right now alrighty so here is what we end up with and so the scoring goes as such it will show it up here on the uh, top left corner um, you get three chances to draw these fish. You get three points if you eat a worm's head and not a hook. Zero points if you eat the hook. And zero points if you overlap your fish. So you can not overlap them as well. So what you'll do is you'll take the pitcher and take the first person's transparency. Line up the black lines as um, such. Up here, I'll do that. And see if they were able to at least touch the um, the worm's head and uh, this one seems to touch just the string and the worm so I got three points there this one I got a little bit of the uh, the worm there no hook I got another three points and another three points for eating this entire worm's head nom 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 so I would mark down my nine points right here on the first quest and uh, I mean you can put your letter by the the player there Oh, I'm sorry, uh, by the player up here. 
and you go down with the six quest and we're gonna do the same thing for Alex so let's see how she did Yeah, I'm going to say, I mean, you're t it, uh, let's say, yeah, it, it just says if the t fish is touching and not the hook, and you almost got got touched by the hook there, so you got three points there. You got another three points there, but this one did get captured. Oh, it's going to be in a tuna can soon. Okay, so she got six points, but, I mean, that wasn't a bad round for either one of us. We scored pretty well, and um, so... And I'm six years old. <laughs> and you're six years old, so you like that number six. So... We'll do uh, another uh, three or four just to give you an idea because there are multiple different rules in each one of the pictures. Let's go over another one. Okay, so the next example is um, this one here. Air bubbles are trapped in the shells. Could it be a sign of hidden pearls? So this one you'll be drawing tiny bubbles any size that you want uh, just as long as you get nine bubbles, it says. Draw nine bubbles in the path without hitting the dark blue water. So you can draw like five over here and four over here, um, just as long as it you have nine bubbles. And each bubble within the path here will be worth one point. So you have the, the potential of getting nine points. So let's do this one, Alex. Let's do it. Magic. Okay, so we both took a different approach here. I did five on the left and four on the right. So the first player will do as such. Let's see how well I did it here. I touched the shell there, so I got zero points. I got one here, I got one here, and I got uh, one, so three on the left, and uh, I'm touching the blue path there, so I I'm got... I'm touching the blue path right here a little bit. Ah, you rules lawyer. Okay, yeah, so I am touching that one, so I got one, two, and three points on this one. So I will score three points. Let's see how she did going just on the left path. So these three are out. So uh, that one's touching the shell. One, two, three. So we both scored three. So that wasn't too bad of a round. Um, I'm still kind of in the lead, but that should change. So we'll do another one here. We'll do a line example. That's a backwards three, silly. Okay, so this is uh, a line-based one. This is kind of a maze uh, example. So in this one, you have to draw a line touching all the pirate treasure and not the bone. So you can get the sword, the map, anything that isn't bones you can touch. And you're basically trying to draw in like a very crazy circle. So we'll do that and you'll get uh, two points for each item you touch and negative points for the bone. So this adds a negative aspect to the uh, consequences. All right, let's do it. Okay, yeah, so what we have here are racetrack looking pictures. So the first player will go and line it up with the box as is tradition. Okay, so I got, let's count my point, my positive points first. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven times two is 14. Now let's add, add my negative points. One, two, three. So I got uh, 14 minus 3, that's 11 points. So that's what I got on mine. Now let's do yours. All right, so. Touching that. Touching that. Okay, so 1, 2, one, two 3, 4, 5, 6. So 6 times 2 is 12, and you got 1, 2, 3 bones. So you got 9 points. So 11 and 9, still really close. And that's what I like about this game. It remains close. We'll do um, one more picture to show you a line and then we'll get to our opinion. So let's do that. Okay everyone, so this is the last example that we're going to be doing today. Uh, it says, get a closer look at the fish's glowing lore, but not too close. So we'll be drawing four lines from the arrows to the yellow light without touching the fish and it's these four arrows here. And if we do this, we get three points for every line that we touch the aura without touching the fish. So we can get um, 12 points on this one, a big point one. So we'll do that real fast and then show you what happens. Okay, so we have our crow's feet lines ready to go. All right, so we'll do player one first, line it up with the box. And I touch the fish here. I 
touch the ore just ever so slightly on that one. So that's uh, three points on this one, I, uh, six points, and on this one, so nine points. Uh, how about you, kiddo? Ooh, this is going to be a rough one. Oh, well, you, you only got two that didn't touch. So these went out of the region and touched the fist, but these two um, touched, well, uh, I'll give it to you. So you got six points on that one. So that is how Doodle Quest is played. And there are different variations on the uh, other pitchers, um, but we gave you a general idea of how it plays, and now let's get to what we think about the game. Okay, everyone, so that was Doodle Quest, and you'll continue to do this over six quests, and then you'll add up all your points and find out who, who wins. So, and as you always do on Alex's board game stand, we're going to give this game a grade, check minus being a bad game, check being an okay game, and check plus being a great game that you just love. So with that being said, what are you going to give this game? Check plus. Me too. Me too. <laughs> so you have three check pluses on this side. I'm going to give it a check plus two. Even though I'm really bad at this game, I actually did the best I've ever did during the review. I like this game. I think the transparency idea is greatly expandable and very original. So what's your very, oh, um, what's your favorite part about this game? I like drawing little fishes and their stencils. Mm -hmm. And I like the race car, like going, doing that crazy circle thing. That's my favorite one. And I always do that every time we uh, play this game. Um, I would say this game has a good baseline. Uh, younger kids will actually be able to play with adults really well. Um, my wife is probably the best at this, but she's beat me on a few occasions, haven't you? So, I mean, the Check Plus is well worth it. I think Blue Orange hit this game out of the park, and I think more themes will be coming to Doodle Quest. I know they have their plate a little um, full at this point, but I can't wait to see like a Safari theme or a Jurassic theme or maybe even a superhero theme that they can do whatever they want with this this was just a solid idea so uh, there's not much to say about this game other than what we gave it four check pluses uh, and uh, my name is Dave my name's Alex and thank you for tuning in to Alex's board game stand until the next time that we see you have a great rest of your day and a great time with what all that you play now we're gonna show you something cool Oh, yeah. We're out.